My job as an MIS is mostly done from the office or on the field. But luckily for me, today I'll be working from home, so I decided to share a day in my life as an MIS here in Ghana with you. Hey everybody, Innocent here. Most of you know me on this channel as a freelance graphic designer, but if you've been on here for a while, you recently know that I picked up a 9 to 5 job and I'm working as an MIS. Since starting this job, I've not really had time to share a day with you so today i'm lucky to be working from home and so i'm going to share my day with you all right good morning so um <laughs> do you say? so today is monday and um, i'll be working from home uh, i'm supposed to be only for the i have to work from home because there are lots of things that we need to catch up with so it's basically going to be like a day, short day in my life as an MIS person working from home and I'll be trying to do some content creation as well because I've not had like free time, not free time. I've not had enough time to shoot videos so I will be batch shooting today as well. So this is just generally going to be like a day in my life. What I do when I, what I do when I have time at home and then um, I'll be working online as well, so come with me, let's, let's go. Since I will not be going to the office today, I didn't wake up early, it's almost already 9am. On a very normal day, my job as an MIS starts very early in the morning with calls and today is no different. Sometimes it is calls that wakes you up. People are out there on the field. And they try to reach out for assistance and you have to navigate through their queries and provide solutions and support so that is what i mostly do and today was no different i had to start my day by attending to some very important calls and people that need support and assistance from the field that person so you need to refresh again so that you can pull all of it from the system please i get to that point as the mantra for the year says, no grief for anybody and that anybody includes yourself, okay? So this year, one of the things that I'm prioritizing a lot is fitness. So since November last year, I mostly work out every single morning from home since there is no gym around me. And the workout is simple. You basically use anything around you that is a bit heavy. You do some push-ups, you lift, and then it can be half kg of rice. It can be anything that is a bit heavy around you and for me i mostly use this susu box with a lot of coins in it so i'll just be lifting it up so i try to work out every single morning and try to stay fit before i jump into anything that is work related and even days that i'm going to the office i try as much as possible to do this and yes the whole idea about this fitness thing is it helps you stay physically active which in turn helps you to maintain focus and energy throughout the day <music> Since I couldn't wake up early today, I had to skip a lot of these morning activities, taking a shower, rushing. But I know you believe I did all of those things. So let's jump right into work. Even when I'm at the office, mostly you delve into a lot of deep work, focusing on your role as an MIS assistant. And today, from home, I'll be doing the same thing, which a little of them involve assigning devices, checking and ensuring data synchronization. As an MIS, I play a very crucial role in maintaining up-to-date systems and making sure that data that is received into the system are accurate, which of course makes a significant impact on the efficiency of the organization. My work today mostly involved going back and forth in the system and checking whether there is new data and processing it for further action. And before I forget, I don't normally do this continuously for long hours. I usually break it into sessions. So I do like one hour and take a break of say five minutes so that I can stretch and then get my mind off a couple of things before I get back to work. So don't actually think that I'll be sitting like this throughout the whole day. I take breaks in between sessions like one hour or say one hour 20 minutes and then I'll take breaks. It depends though, when the workload is too much, sometimes you don't really get a break until there's the need for a break. After working for a couple of hours, it is time to get lunch.
and since i skipped breakfast i decided to prepare something a bit heavy so i went in for rice and stew with eggs and yes i already had stew in the fridge so i just had to boil the rice and the egg and then i was good to go While eating, I decided to catch up on a movie on Netflix just to make the most out of my break. I don't know if it's only me, but whenever I'm eating alone and not doing anything, like pressing the phone, watching a movie, I just feel like I'm wasting time that period eating alone. So mostly when I'm eating, I'll just catch up on a movie or I'll just check social media or check my phone, reply test, just so I can make the most out of that period. I just don't want to be sitting there alone eating and not doing anything else this is a problem that my mom always fights me with because she feels like once you're eating you just need to be focused and be eating alone you don't need to be pressing phone am i the only one in this situation but i feel like this serves as a brief escape allowing me to recharge and return to work or whatever that i'm doing with a fresh perspective right after lunch work resumes and this time around it is catching up with meetings you know mondays are mostly for meetings so i had a meeting to attend to discuss the ongoing project and what we can do best to you know strengthen the system and make sure that the project keeps running we normally do this virtually as the virtual workspace seemingly connects everyone fostering a sense of teamwork despite the physical distance for instance me working from home today and with this meeting everyone is able to share their insights on how to get this project moving on around 4 pm even if you're at the office normally work is getting close. so normally i take a short break to check my social media and mostly reply comments on my youtube channel or stay connected with my audience although working 9 to 5 mostly takes a lot of my time but as a creative engaging with my followers and sharing my insights enhances my online experience which serves as a balance between my creative and my 9 to 5 work and most importantly it serves as a pleasant break from all the analytical aspects of my role as an mis After a few minutes of break, I get back into work for the final lap. The aim is to finish by 5 p.m., wrapping out every official duty and trying to clear every task that I'm supposed to do for the day and organizing tasks for the next day. And around this time, I'm also ensuring that there is a smooth transition from work mode to personal time. Mostly around 5 p.m. and 6.30 p.m., I try to get out of the room as I've mostly been in the room all day long. So I try to get out of the room, pick my phone and check social media or just take a walk or talk to people, speak to real people. Because all that I've been doing in here today is talking to virtual people. Unfortunately for me, I couldn't record this session because my battery had run out and I forgot to charge the other one but i hope you get the idea since i had late lunch i'm not going to have much for dinner so for dinner i'm going to make a smoothie consisting of kinky banana milk oat and sugar remember that we are trying to stay fit this year right there is a recipe that i recently found on tiktok and i've been trying to do it for some time now and i can see the change in my body as well and this nutritious smoothie is going to serve as a very light yet satisfying meal which aligns with my commitment to a healthy lifestyle sometimes i make the smoothie a bit thick so that it provides the energy needed for my evening you know i'm that type that grew up eating heavy food for dinner so if i'm trying to do this i need to find a way to fit it in so the smoothie has to be thick i hope you get the idea later in the evening depending on what's on my schedule i'll either watch a movie or continue on personal projects until it's time to rest these personal projects could range from scripting shooting videos editing a video or designing for my freelance work okay on this particular day it was editing so i edited a video for my social media handles tiktok youtube shorts instagram and then twitter i think the best part of the evening it's it serves as a balance between relaxation and productivity allowing you to unwind from all the day's activities and once you have that smooth transitions from your productive work 
into your personal work it makes it all feel so great most of the times i get carried away by working on my personal stuff and it gets to sometimes 10 p.m 11 p.m but then it depends when you feel so tired i sometimes go to bed early but when i don't feel so tired i need to keep working on my personal project you know i found this school that said don't just be a nine to five person make your own identity find what you love and give time each day to that but uh, as the day comes to an end i mostly reflect on all that i did for the day and i make sure that i had a productive day while balancing it with my personal pursuits i must say that working from home offers you a whole lot of flexibility that allows you to prioritize both your professional and your creative sides all in all the adaptability of my role as an mis assistant and my commitment to personal growth contributed to a fulfilling and a rewarding day and yes after this whole long day i just get back into bed and then i take a rest i hope you learned a thing or two from this video and if you are creative that wants to venture into 95 i believe that this is going to inspire you that you can do both by striking a perfect balance for your 95 and then your creative works i've been able to do it it's not been easy so far but then you can also do it so yeah go for it and yeah that wraps it up for this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section i'll be in there to interact with you if you found this helpful subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye